What's up, mother lickers? I've had this bike now for just over two years. I bought it in October, so well, that's two years and November, December, January, February. Two years, four months. And uh, I'm the first owner from brand new, but for now, uh, that sign means go. All right. I will vlog in a minute, but you know, priorities. so bad. So I've owned this bike for two years and four months. I'm the first owner from brand new. I live on an island that's 27 miles across. Who among you can guess the mileage the most accurately? What do you think the mileage is on this bike as of right now? Who's going to guess it right? Whoever does, I'll send you a, a smoke sticker, colour of your choice. Free of charge, buddy, because I'm nice like that. Speaking of the bike, really, I figured uh, today would be a good opportunity to tell you a little more about the bike really because I haven't done sort of a walk around of it and showed you all the mods and told you about all the mods since like since like three days after I bought it when nothing was done to it because I'm not sure if the rest of you guys have noticed but ever since Chase on Two Wheels was kind enough to release his Atlanta campaign video we've had a huge influx of, of new people so first off welcome welcome Oh, that pop and crackle gets me moist. Nice Astra, bro. In other incredible news, the Atlanta campaign has actually reached its goal now. So I owe an enormous, immeasurable thank you to every single one of you guys that supported the campaign by picking up a t-shirt or a sticker or donating on Twitch. All of you guys are incredible. And it's thanks to you that Chase and I are finally able to meet face to face get some video recording and uh, it's only a matter of time now before Heather realizes that the proposal was a ruse and soon I shall take her place at Chase's side as joint ruler of the new world um, but let's just keep that one under wraps shall we I'd, I'd rather she didn't find out just yet so I know where the place I want to go is I just don't know how to get there I'm gonna go this way this feels right this feels right this place is literally like riding up the side of a mountain it's crazy Ah, oh, anus. On a hill as well. Ah, poop. I kind of feel like this place is about to fall on me. I deserve it. I've sinned a lot. Come on, green light. Let's go. Oh, okay. There was one guy five minutes away. Yeah, fair dues. Fair dues. Brilliant. Good fucking God. Oh, okay. There's one more car five minutes away. Cool. Fuck you, traffic lights. Fuck you in the anus. That was bullshit. Well then. There we go, let's keep the wind out. This is my 2013 Street Triple R. She is filthy as you like. First and foremost, I could not order this bike without the fly screen and the belly pan because I think without those two things, it looks atrocious. I'm not a massive fan of the way the bike looks sort of from the front end, you know, the headlights and stuff. Anyway, it's a bit funky looking, shall we say, but I think cover that up from everywhere else. I think it's beautiful. So one of the first things, the most obvious things that I did was to take off the mirrors and I fit these cheap eBay blanking plates, which were black. Now they're kind of bronze where the, the color has come off. Um, same things happened on the levers. I also took off the standard levers because I absolutely hate those enormous monstrosities dildo style levers god i hate them so much so they came straight off as well and i replaced them again with cheap ebay jobbies um i had a set of these on my cbr 600 rr for a year and they were absolutely perfect didn't have a single problem with them so did the same again i also went and purchased a bunch of crash protection so again ebay specials i got the rear spindles the spools and the engine for i think it was 50 quid or something 
Uh, dude makes them himself in his garage. He and sees all the parts and stuff like that. I do have ones for the front. I just haven't fit them yet because the bar he sent me was too short. And uh, I just completely forgot to ever send it back. The exhaust that you guys know so well is the SC Project Conic. Funnily enough, I actually did have a brief problem with it. Um, installation was fine. It was nice and easy. I adore the sound of it. I think it sounds amazing. It's horribly loud though. Some of you may remember when I swapped bikes with a buddy of mine, Skip, um, he took the Street Triple R away and I rode his 899 Panigale home and we swapped for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks I think. And uh, while Skip had the bike, unfortunately for him, <laughs> it's hilarious that it, it was fine for me for like two years and then he, he takes the bike and two days later he breaks it. Um, this weld here broke. Um, because originally it was just like tacked on the ends and in the middle it didn't have this weld all the way along so he took it to a buddy of his who, who then welded it all the way across so that's something to look out for that may happen to you I kind of feel like maybe it happens because you can stress the exhaust if you're riding track style if you have you know the, this part of your foot here I think you could probably lean on that with your heel and put weight on it which probably didn't help because I ride like that quite a lot I ran the standard exhaust on this for quite a long time actually I didn't put the SU Project Conic on until after the first big service like you know the she's officially a run-in service because I didn't want to mess with the air fuel ratio at all so when I had the SU Project Conic exhaust fitted my local dealership also flashed it with the arrow map which is a standard performance map that you get with the arrow exhaust optional extra which this didn't have I just bought the standard exhaust because I honestly don't think the Arrow sounds that great. It's, it's slightly bassier than stock, but otherwise, eh, it's not very different. So I didn't really bother. I wanted uh, an exhaust to make a difference, you know. But other than that, the bike is completely standard, really. I mean, the, the tail tidy is one thing. Um, do I have any future plans for it as well? Is something that I get asked. And uh, yeah, actually, I kind of do. Nothing huge, but I would like to fit the LED indicators. Because at first, when I ordered the bike, I didn't really give a shit. I didn't care. I've also considered, now that the new Street Triple RX has come out, and it has the Daytona tail and red wheels, I think the red wheels look amazing. They really just kind of pop off the side of the bike in the subframe. So, yeah, that's definitely something I'm considering. But, uh, yeah, just a quick update for you guys, just so you can see what's going on bike-wise without having to trawl through hundreds of old videos. There she is, in all of her glory. Um, and I adore this bike. I love it to death. The first time I rode one, it, it sold me on it. I just had to buy one, so I did. I traded in my 600RR and I picked one of these up as soon as I possibly could. Anyway, people, I'm going to get out of here. But don't forget, if you guys want to submit a subscriber spotlight, I feature some of my subscribers at the end of my videos. 60 seconds long, please don't upload the video to YouTube. Send it to me some other way, because if I download it from YouTube and then re-upload it to YouTube, the quality is shit. So if you want to submit a spotlight, please do. You can email me at smosupersport at gmail.com. All that stuff's in the description. And uh, don't forget to try and guess the mileage. <laughs> yeah, why not, mate? I did see a big shit here somewhere, and I really don't want to go in it. Unless I already have. I probably already did. Because, you know, life. As usual, I've been Smoke. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here at Charles Hurst and I'm about to take out the latest test ride.